All right, let's do something a little different today. I was going to try to come up with another roulette challenge, but um, I got a stupid idea that I'm going to try to make work instead. Let's try to get this to work on Bangkok. Um, I'm thinking about a, a flying axe strategy for Bangkok. I haven't thought it all the way, th even thought it all the way through yet, but maybe it will flesh itself out while I'm trying to get it to happen. Uh, I'm going to start as a cop. Let's bring the silver baller. And let's bring breaching charges. That is all I need uh, to make the axe, launch the axe in the air. Uh, that is a setup. Here we go. All right, attempt number seven. This strategy has slowly fleshed itself out through seven uh, incarnations of it. So it won't be as spontaneous as I hoped it would have been, but oh well. I tried. Let's take out the cameras. Let me show you guys one of my favorite tricks, which is not taking out the cameras, because taking out the cameras is not that awesome. What is... <laughs> what is pretty awesome is how to knock these two dudes out. Relax, Chief. I got it covered. I don't know why I found that so amusing, but I did. Let's bump into the exterminator. And the exterminator was so fixated on me for bumping into him that he had no idea I knocked out Thanaboon number 978. Um, I'd like to inspect the penthouse now. Also, cans are not suspicious items, so I guess. neither of them could spot me for throwing them. They don't, don't spot throwing animations. They spot the uh, what, the item you're throwing. So if it would have been a Lawyer. suspicious item, well, it depends on the disguise, too, then they could have spotted me for throwing something, but they didn't spot me for throwing the cans. Uh, the exterminator didn't see... Thanaboon knocked out because he was staring at me. So Thanaboon couldn't spot me for throwing something, and neither could that dude, and the exterminator could not spot me for throwing or knocking out Thanaboon because he didn't see him get knocked out. And that is how that worked. I also just knocked down Ken. Um, basically, I'm going to try to delay Ken. He should be in lockdown up there from passing through the lobby. That'll slow him down from passing through the lobby. He will end up there after, when he comes out of lockdown, but that will allow me the chance to lead Ken there as dresses uh, hotel staff, using that opportunity to lead him straight to Jordan, who will be in the lobby, and he is coming down because I uh, talked to Mook Jai while disguised as the exterminator. That is the opportunity that clears out the recording studio for uh, the exterminator to get up there. Got the sapper's axe in the meantime. Let's take out the camera. And let's get this gardener down here. What? I heard I want to move this guy out of the way because he can potentially see the breaching charges that I'm going to place for to get the axe in the air. As long as he's far enough down the stairs, then that cop has no idea he got knocked out. And his body should go unfound for the rest of the level. Ken is out of lockdown. He is. Sir, when can I have my suit? Please accept my heartfelt apology for the mishap earlier. The Queen Suite is ready. I totally forgot what I was going to say. Ken is out of lockdown. Let's lead him right to Jordan. I totally spaced out right there. <laughs> Bernardo had a cool trick to that is Jordan Cross. Uh, use a he fetch trick to get Jordan downstairs by throwing the phone out the window, but yeah, as, Ken's, as soon as Ken starts doing that, then short, Jordan should be running Welcome right to him. Servant. Uh, let's take the front door here. I'm going to set up the axe, but I didn't want to jump through the window because sometimes the guys who hang out by the bathroom can see you jump out, continue to look at you, and... Um, that could have gotten me spotted with the axe right here. I meant to pick up the axe, not the crowbar, but oh well. Right, let's leave the axe right there. I want to get this cop out of the way. Clumsy. And kind of like the other trick, um, bumping somebody first makes them fixate on you and focus on you. And if you bump somebody first, I've explained this trick before, you can drop a weapon Fuck. right in front of them. If I dropped that right in front of him without bumping him, then I would have gotten spotted, but because I bumped him first, then that allowed me to drop it and not get spotted. Again, that's like a priority thing. They are so fixated on you for bumping them that... I guess it's like a... 
like I said, a priority thing where the AI can only think about so many things at one given time or something like that. But getting him out of the way also made placing the breaching charges a little less urgent. Because if I had just, he, he can see over here, so I just continue to hold breaching charges out while trying to find an actual place that it won't allow me to place them. Like now, then I probably would have gotten spotted, but it is just not let. Oh, there we go. Not letting me put it down. I don't like how far back that one is, but we'll see if it works. It's going to be a matter of luck anyway. Uh, it'll get it in the air. Um, it'll get close to the window with that setup, but who knows if I'll even have the opportunity to hit the F prompt to pick it up. Sometimes it can veer to the side or I can bounce off the hotel. Great. Now they're not even letting guests in. It'll end up relatively close to the window. Let's just hope it, it gets it right there. I caught it on one attempt, but Are you like I fucked a up afterwards. So. That is the one that got away. And now I'm in a situation where I have to wait, and I, I hate that. I hate trying to commentate over um, gameplay where I'm not actively doing, doing anything, because then I have nothing to explain. <laughs> It will be a matter of waiting for Jordan and Ken to get up here, and I really, aside from the magic of television and editing an intro together with uh, actual strategy, I really don't like to edit things. So I actually try to make my strategies eventful enough so that I can continue talking about them, because the worst is trying to think of something not to talk about when nothing is going on. Talking about what I'm doing in a game is really easy. Talking about other stuff that is unrelated is... <laughs> who cares? If I wanted to do that, I'd play Call of Duty and do, like, post-commentaries or something. Uh, which I did do at one time. I never did, like, the... the mul uh, doing commentaries over multiplayer was, like... Between myself and Master a pretty popular thing. I don't know if it sure still is, but it used to be. But I used to... Be into the zombies stuff. Okay, start talking, Morgan. I will tell you the truth. My post commentaries ended up being some of the most unnatural things that I've ever created for YouTube. Nearly being sagacious. Telling stupid jokes totally unrelated to anything. The proverbial smoking gun that you so precariously kept for yourself instead of destroying the evidence. That's some of those videos might I still did. be on my channel. Oh, I think I got yes. rid of most of them, but too hard on <laughs> I just not want to associate myself with that anymore. It is usually lower than you'd think. We did not mean to use it, of course. Not unless you left your father no choice. Oh, you wouldn't dare. You covered I promised it myself I wouldn't ruin the strategy here, so I'm going to you and my dad. try to not say too much anyway. I acted in good faith. So I will just allow it to happen. How are we to know that Dexie Barrett helped you? Anybody who knows the game well enough knows at least part of what's going to happen. It's Miss Barrett you caught on the tape, not your father. The bribes and the hush money all came from offshore accounts in your name. Down. Bullshit me. Come on, don't bullshit me. Come on, don't bullshit me. Leagues. Jordan just killed Ken. Let's launch the breach or the axe in the air. I caught it. Target down. And I got him. Nice. Hands. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. I wasn't sure if the <laughs> wasn't sure if the um, axe was going to be in a place where I could actually pick it up, or I also wanted to make sure I got a decent kill cam of the axe flying in the air, but. That is what I was going for. Nice one. I'll have to watch that one back. I hope it was visually what I wanted to get, but I think it was. Now, uh, okay. allow <laughs> Jordan to push Ken and try to get behind Jordan, get the axe flying at the window, slow motion in the air, and s smash Jordan in the face. This should be Silent Assassin. I can't think of any reason why it wouldn't be, but I guess we'll find out. Here we go. There we go. Silent Assassin 814. I like the trick to get uh, uh, Jordan to see Ken. Like I said, I, actually, I don't even know if I explained it with this run, but I may have explained it during a couple, a couple of other attempts, but Bernardo had a, a really nice trick to get 
Jordan downstairs by uh, shooting the glass out of a window in the recording studio and then using the fetch trick to get Jordan downstairs. I tried that a couple of times. I just I couldn't get it consistently enough to expect that to work and then the rest of the strategy to work too. So I had to think of think of another way and this way turned out I think this way is a little faster than that one anyway. I, I thought it was pretty slick. matter of getting or delaying Ken long enough to uh, keep him near the lobby so that um, Jordan could see him. And then I needed the Thanaboon number 745 disguise anyway to uh, get into the Queen Suite without trespassing. I could have used the security, this original security disguise I had also, but Thanabun was a little more convenient because I could bring Ken to Jordan also. Anyway, that is the strategy I was going for. Um, it took a couple of tries. Again, it wasn't as spontaneous as I hoped it would be, but it worked. Now, that is the kill that I wanted, at least. And then the rest of the strategy just kind of fleshed itself out after a few, a, a few attempts, so it, again, it wasn't as spontaneous as I wanted it to be, but it can't be first try El Pog Champo all the time. Anyway, uh, that's it for that one. Um, I had a, another uh, two or another two or three stupid ideas that I wanted to try to get to work with this level two. I already got one to work. I just have to get it to work in a, a, a run. But that one is pretty awesome. I definitely won't spoil what that one is. Uh, anyway, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. This is CJ, and I'm out. See ya!